What is the difference between mass and weight? I think it's something that a lot of people are confused about. They just think that anything that's big, like this car, has a lot of weight. It's very heavy, it's got a lot of mass. And people just basically think of these uh, ideas as all the same. But there's an important distinction between the terms mass and weight. Mass refers to the amount of matter in an object, whereas weight is a force. It's the gravitational attraction that the object feels towards, in this case, the Earth's center. So I've got a little experiment uh, today where I've brought my car out here. I'm going to ask some people, why is it difficult to push my car? And my bet is their answer will be because the car is heavy. Because it's heavy? Because you're in a too heavy. It depends heavy. if it's uphill or downhill, but you know, the car's heavy. Big rock you would think would be heavy. Anything that's big you would think would be heavy. It's too heavy. <laughs> it's heavy, yeah. Oh, it's a bit lighter than I thought. It's got its weight. Weight is responsible. What is yeah. weight? <laughs> weight is massive in a gravity. <laughs> what, what, is, what is this gravity thing? Gravity is gravity what is like keeps... the pull yeah. of this core of the Earth. Your car is pulled towards the, the center of the Earth. Yes. But now when you push it, let's say you're pushing your car, you're not pushing it up, do you know what I mean? No. But it's still hard to push. Yeah. So do you think weight's responsible for making it hard to push? Well, it is weight. I mean, like, you know, the lighter the car, it's easier to push, so, yeah. Like, weight only exists because, weight because and gravitation. gravity on the mass. But I'm not trying to lift the car, right? I'm just trying to push it. Really you have like a huge, like yeah. big rock you would think would be heavy. Anything that's big you would think would be heavy. So a car, but I'm not lifting it, I'm pushing it. So well, it's the gravity of it, I suppose. But, but this, is, this is my question, yeah, right? Yeah. But I'm not trying to lift it. No, that's true. You're but it's still, it. it's still hard to push. So why is that? Because like if I lift it, I understand you it saying it's heavy. heavy. Yeah. And then it would be really hard. But we're pushing it and we're actually getting it to go. True, true. So how, how does that work? The answer is because the car has inertia. Inertia means that objects with mass have a tendency to resist changes in their motion. And I thought she had a great answer when I started, which was inertia. Can you tell us about that? What is, what's inertia it's all about? It's just like once something's stopped, it doesn't really want to go, and once something's going, it doesn't like really want to stop. Yeah, well, the idea that I'm trying to get at is there's actually two different things, okay. right? One thing is that there's a force pulling this down into the earth, and that's what we call weight and that makes it impossible to lift. Mm. But there's something else which is called inertia, and that means something is difficult to change its motion. The car's got a lot of inertia, and that's why it's difficult to push, which is different than why it's difficult to lift, lift. which is the weight force pulling it down towards the earth. Fair enough, but it's actually not as difficult to push it. It's not that hard, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, it doesn't even prove my <laughs> no, point, because no, you can no. push it with one hand, can't you? Absolutely. <laughs>